Oh, hi. I didn't know you were there as I was reading my Bible for the fifth time today and it's only nine o'clock. Come on, my life. It's like, uh, come on, everyone. Yo, what's going on? This is Humble Tip. This is something new that I'm starting. I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, um, just kind of videotaping some of my shows and letting you guys in and having a blast with y'all, man. So this is the first jank and we just chilling right now. Right now, I'm kind of doing, I'm in the middle of like a little uh, northeast type of little swing. I'm not going to call it a tour because tour you got things lined up. There's a bunch of them. Everybody say they on tour. I'm not on tour. Just taking some spot dates though. Hit up Newark, New Jersey. Shout out to Pastor Pablo out there. It was bananas. Uh, got, got a chance to get it in with show, Baraka and Drama and a lot of um, DJ P Dog was up there. Wado was up there. We was all hanging out in the hotel. The youngest was having a conversation about. They was having conversations like it was a halo. Dog. That dream was over my head. The youngest was talking about Constantinople and Aristotle and Constantine and quarantine and tangerines and all that crazy stuff, man. But it was, it was great fellowship, though. Real rap. It was great fellowship. I just didn't have a clue what they was talking about. And I was trying to front like I did. I was like, word, eternity past, word. I was like, eternity past, eternity present, eternity future. I don't know, I'm hungry and I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep, y'all. Can we talk about the Redskins or something like that? So New York was banging. Yes, uh, then we went out to, what was we at? I was in, um, I think I was in, oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn for uh, Higher Calling. That joint was bananas. Uh, got, man, New, the New York Christian hip hop scene, these guys were so, they were such a blessing to me, man. Got a chance to get it in with uh, Blaze Torch. He was crazy. Um, got a chance to get in with Slave. What's going on, Slave? Uh, hope all is well, man. Keep you lifted up based upon what we talked about. Um, Eshawn Burgundy, salute, salute. <laughs> he was out there, man. Got a chance to get in here. Big Phil came up from uh, Florida. He was out there. Uh, Miss Sheena Lee, incredible angelic voice. She was out there. Sheena, what you did to that French toast at IHOP in certain states is considered a felony. Like, she punished that giant. She tortured that giant like it was about to run away and she had to lock it up. So uh, that, was, that was bananas, but nah, you know I'm playing with you, Sheena. Um, and it was a blessing. So now, you know what I'm saying? We out here in Massachusetts, staying at the Super 8 Motel. I ain't going front like I'm staying at like the Hilton, you feel me? Or like I'm staying at like this super, super nice hotel. But I ain't going front. This Super 8 Motel that I'm at, this is like the nicest Super 8 Motel i ever been at. And this joint is cheap. I stayed at a um, hotel, I stayed at this spot in, in Brooklyn. That's not the wisest thing to do, but whatever. It was late, had to find a place to lay my head that night. These youngers charged me. Like $180. And like the giant, like, come, come, come in. Come in. Take, take, a, take a look at, at the room. This, it's, this isn't like the nicest room on the planet, but this is very nice. I'm an easy dude. I'm not one of these guys that are like, I need all red M&Ms and you need to put nuts in half of the red M&Ms and give me some rose petals in my toilet. I ain't, I ain't one of these type of dudes or anything. You know what I'm saying? But this is, this is, this is a nice, you know what I'm saying? This is a nice, this is a nice spot. So this train was this train was cheap and I like cheap because I just got done with college and Sally Mae is on my behind. So this giant is beautiful, nice and super eight motel I ever stayed in. The giant in New York, youngest charged me like $180. The room was literally three sides. I put like this. I got into the uh, hotel. I got into the room. They didn't have a bed in the room. They just put a pillow on the toilet. It was like, yo, that's your bathroom, that's your living room, and you're gonna sleep there as well. It's like, no, nah, I wasn't that bad, but you know, it wasn't the greatest. But thank God for giving me a place to even lay my head, because I could have just slept in a van, like I have done before. So, you know what I'm saying? We headed up to Soul Fest. I'm part of a hip hop lineup up there. Uh, it's gonna be me, Flame, John Rubin. Definitely looking forward to seeing Flame Giant. But I ain't gonna front, I'm really looking forward to seeing John Rubin's set, because I've heard his music, but I've never seen him do a live set. And like, I'm super, super curious to know like, what is John Rubin gonna do? Also, Skillet is gonna be there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that set. Another group called Red is gonna be there, I believe. So it's gonna be a blast, man. Uh, ministry is going well. What am I reading in my word? I ain't wanna be like one of those blogs where like I talk about the Bible like the entire type blog, cause you know, that's just not me keeping it 100 with y'all. I'm just a regular dude who loves Jesus. But in my word, I'm going through First Kings, and um, you know what I'm saying, I just finished reading about, um, I'm reading on Ahab, King Ahab and his wife Jezebel and how they just had somebody murked 
for a piece of land. Like these youngins killing youngins over real estate for real. Just like now. And so uh, this young, but nah, this youngin just killed somebody over a garden. Like he wanted to, hold on, let me see. Youngin, uh, Naboth or Naboth, I don't know how to pronounce the youngin name, but youngin Ahab wanted this youngin's uh, garden. He made, I don't know, he might have had some grapes or some vegetables or some tomatoes. Or he might have been like, man, I like how green this grass is. It looks just like AstroTurf. I don't know what the brother saw in the man garden that he wanted. However, neighbors was like, nah, you ain't getting my garden. The young Ahab run back to his wife. You know, the young Ahab had like a little sissy attitude on something. Ah, he won't give me his garden, so I'm not going to eat. And I'm just going to lay in my bed. I'm not going to eat bread. So Jezebel come through the giant. She's like, babe, what's going on? This young and like, this young neighbor won't let me have his garden. She comes through the giant. Tells two youngins to start lying on Naboth, saying that he blaspheming God. Then they stone this youngin over a garden. Like, that's bananas. But anyway, that's what I'm reading in my word going through First Kings. God is doing some major things. Um, keep up with the kid. New shop album dropping September 6th. Hope everybody purchases it. Hope it enhances your life. And I hope you enjoy it. So, you already know what it is. This is Humble T.I.P. Don't forget that stands for Two Increased Praise. Coming out of Virginia, two up, two down, but repping that DMV. I'm out.